One of the significant advantages to DHCP is the ability to lease an IP address. This is just like leasing an apartment or leasing a house. It's a temporary thing where I'm getting an IP address from the DHCP server, but I'm going to give that IP address back eventually. It is something that's set up by the DHCP server as an allocation of addresses. And it's something that times how long you're going to get that lease. And it's all administratively configured inside of the DHCP server. You have complete control over that allocation process. So whenever you go into a reallocation mode, you might reboot your computer, and it starts back up again and confirms with the DHCP server that I'm the guy who was here last on this IP. I just rebooted. I was just here. Can you give me that same IP address again? And generally, the DHCP server is configured to reallocate that same IP address directly to you. Your workstation can also manually give up the IP address. If you turn off your computer and you don't come back, or you want to move your laptop from a wired network to a wireless network, you might want to have your operating system release the IP address on the wired network so that somebody else connecting would be able to use it. And when you move to the wireless network, you're obviously going to get a brand new IP address. The leasing process has a number of timers associated with it so that we can be sure that we're always going to have an IP address that's updated on our computer. And there's two timers you need to be aware of. The first timer is the T1 timer. Whenever we get an IP address initially, this timer starts up. We're given a lease time. And when 50% of that lease time has been hit, your workstation is going to check in with that original DHCP server and try to renew its lease. So we're doing it very quickly, 50% in. We're already checking to be sure we're going to have that IP address reserved for us so that we can set the timer again and reset it back to 0. Now what if your IP address has been allocated to you, you're 50% through the lease time, and you're trying to talk back to that original DHCP server, but maybe that DHCP server is down. Maybe the power supply blew. Maybe it's not on the network anymore you're going to need to have another option. And so there's a separate timer called the T2 timer, where as 7 eighths of that lease time has gone by, we're going to start to check in with anybody who might be able to provide us with the DHCP address. So if it's down, just send out a request to anybody who's out there. If there's any other DHCP server, I'm well past my T1 timer. I'm now 7 eighths into my lease. I'm going to need to get an IP address from someone else now. I'm going to give up on that first device. Here's graphically how this lease process might look. Let's assume we're an IP address out here that we've received, and our lease time on this DHCP address is eight days. And if we do our timer calculations, that means after four days, our T1 timer will expire. That's our green timer here. And I've identified this yellow T2 time as the T2 seven days. That's, that's seven eighths of the time frame. That's 87.5% of the time frame. So we get our IP address. And normal operation on day one and day two and day three and day four go by. And when we hit the fifth day, we're going to try to check in with the original DHCP server. And if we get a response from that DHCP server, then the timer resets. And we have another four days to go by. And on the fifth day, we try to check in. But what if the DHCP server isn't there anymore? We keep checking in after the next day. We're now on four, five, six days in. We're seven days in. And now at this point, we're just not going to hear from it. So at that point, we're going to go into this rebinding period where we will simply ask any DHCP server out there for an IP address. And because we happen to have redundant DHCP servers, it responds back immediately and says, sure, here's a new IP address for you. And before you get through that, that eighth day, now you've suddenly got a new IP address, and your timers all reset all over again. By having this lease process in place with these timers, we can be assured that we're always going to have an IP address in a timely manner. We're never going to have any downtime associated with this. And we've automatically got a way to build redundancy into our DHCP process.